Hey guys, this is Walker, I'm the only Hyundai Santa Fe. Towards the front, you've got your LED daytime run lights. It's quite nice. Similar to the Kona, you have the headlights are separated, so you can see that you have your headlights here and your LED daytime run lights up top there. See your headlights. It's also blacked out. Looks quite nice. Indicators. Got four parking sensors integrated into the front bumper there. Your sensor for your adaptive cruise control. Got this really nice aluminium finish here. Looks really nice. Got a redesigned front end. It's quite nice. It's a really, really, really nice pattern. Sorry if the video seems to be flickering and it's just because of the fans, so I do apologize. This car has a fuel consumption of 2.2 liters. Sorry, what I'm saying, 7.5 liters per GKs, and it's a 2.2 liter automatic diesel. Combined to 9.9. Your wheels. They are Kumo Krugen HP 91 tyres and they are 18 inch wheels. Quite thick side wheel, which is good for comfort. See the rooms here. Very nice. Got a two-tone finish here, a bit of black and blue, the metallic blue paint, it's a little bit hard to see, very nice. Some more of that aluminium finish on the sides here, very nice. I'll show you the rear of the car. Lights. Got your indicators integrated to the lower bumper there. You also have four parking sensors here. Dual exhausts. Nice. Santa Fe. 2.2 litre diesel. You have a reversing camera here. Third brake light. Power toll gate. Quite a large opening. It's really handy. Infinity sound system by Hardman. Got some hooks here to tie down items. One, two, three, and four. Got some storage here on the sides here. You've got vents for your air conditioning. And an additional one here, along with your fan speeds here. And that's for your second row, which is right over. Under here, it's a bit hard to see. There is a, an additional, there's additional pair of seats here, it's hard to see, but, oh there you go, right there, which actually come up electronically, which is really nice. 100, 180 volt, 12 volt power outlet, two additional speakers here. 
Seats do fold down. Pull this toggle here, I believe. They come down, lock in place. Do the same thing on the other side as well. Toggle right there, whoops. There you go. You can see, seats fall down completely flat. Nicely carpeted. Very nice. Here's the material. I'll show you this right now. Forgot to show you, but here is the key fob for the only Santa Fe. Got gossel buns. It's also got a really nice rubber finish, along with the Hyundai badge. Very nice. Yeah. Gauges, rev counter. Got your rev counter here. Speedometer cluster to the right. Temperature and fuel gauge. This car's done 18 kilometers. Got leather wrap steering wheel here. Good bolstering. Got some black stitching here. It's very nice. Towards the left, you got your volume controls and to seek to your stations. You got hands free telephone, answer, cancel calls. You have your cruise control towards the right. Very nice, the buttons have some really nice feedback. You've got power shifters, minus, plus. You also have your wipe controls to the left, and you have your headlight indicator controls to the right, and they are, have some really nice feedback. Soft touch dash. Got a choice of vinyl, soft soft rubbers, along with some really nice leather. It looks like a brown leather. It kind of looks black. I think it's black. Yeah, it's black. It's like a black leather. Some really nice gray stitching here. Got some storage here, which has a textured finish. You can see. Which is really nice. Also, with the speakers there, you can see it also has a texture finish. The Infinity speakers. Cool glove box. No padding. Vents here, quite nice. Air conditioning, climate control. There's legit no wiggle or wobble with any of the controls. It feels very satisfying the way I move the dial. Sync, auto, fan speeds. Very solidly built. Got some storage here. You got a 12 volt power outlet here. You have a USB and aux port. You have a, I believe, a fast charging port here on the right, which is good when you want to fast charge your smartphone. You've got two cup holders. It's very nice. They're also adjustable. You have a vinyl shift boot, leather shift boot. Correction. Some black stitching here. Feels very nice. Different controls: electronic parking brake, driving modes. Change the camera views, full descent control, with the armrest, just really nice grey stitching, got some good storage, 
room deep. See? Pray here. Quite handy. Just for belief. For towards here. Or towards here. Whatever you like. Seats are electric. Go forward. Side then forward or back. Leather. Got some nice grey stitching here. Perforated. Kind of looks like it came from an Audi. It's actually really, really well made. Perforated, as I mentioned. Very nice. Beautiful seats. Love this diamond sort of ish pattern here. This textured finish. It's very nice. Hard to see with the lighting. There you go. It's very sunny today. It's funny because it's winter. Got some nice chrome here as well. I like the pattern here, you can see you got this sort of trim here that goes from here all the way here, concaves in, again concaves in, and it comes out right there. It's actually really nice how it blends in, kind of like a wave. I love it, it's a very unique design, beautiful. Look at this headline, it's, how gorgeous is it? It's so different, it's like an urban soul finish, love it. Anyway, you got your vinyl, vanity mirror, sorry. Also can illumination. Lights. Got a really textured and soft um, sunglass holder, so which is really great if you got some expensive Ray-Bans. Really will protect them well. Another one here. Obviously you can on them. Lights. Very nice. You have soft touch material on the sides here. You have your window switches here, which are also very nice. Some really nice materials. Some good storage. Oh, I just forgot. I'm pretty sure you want to feel the UI. I want to turn that on. Go straight to map. Confirm map. Train navigation. I'll just show you how the UI works. Type in Glen Waverley. Show you it's very responsive. Very responsive, which is really good. Um, I can't this classes. It's very unique. Most head units I've used, they're very um slow, and that's more and more um expensive cars, which I find interesting. So. But this touchscreen is so fast. That's really something. I'm just going to pick up a random address somewhere. You can see it. You can zoom in and out really fast. It's really great. Really responsive. It's fantastic, actually. Decided to buy it yet? <laughs> I'm no. just no, not yet. Oh. <laughs> just doing a little video on it. <laughs> Zooms in really well. Map's really good. So it's really fast. <laughs> Got me a joke if I decided to buy it. DAB, you can do a little test of the Infinity sound system. I might just... Can't play for too long because... Good sound system as you can see. Can't play for too long because I don't want to get um, flagged for copyright. The idea you got media, no other stuff. Whoops. Uh, where's your home? Radio. Whoops. Menu. No. Oh, okay. Did not work. Oh, you get the idea. So I'm trying to get to the home screen, which I do not know. I mean, wait. Popped up just then. No media files. All menus. Okay. There you go. So you got phone. I'm not going to add that, close, quick go, current, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, that's also good, yeah, very neat, show you, system check, all electronics, lights coming on, see average, let me show you the, how fast AC, 
Come control. Sync, so if you can both put them at the same time. Very nice. And on, which one's, this is your fan speed. Very good. And different zones. Look at that. Nice and cold. Very cold, in fact. Fantastic. Very nice. And let's turn that off there. And I'm just gonna kill the engine here. That is so cool. I've never seen that in any car. Any car. I love that chime. Quickly show you here, you have your additional controls. You've got your blind spot monitoring system, you have a lane keeping assist, you have to you can also adjust the boots, for example, when you want to if you have a low ceiling in the garage. Sometimes the boots, when it's electronic, it will go and hit the ceiling, so you can actually adjust the height of that, which is very useful. And the locker diffs and all that. Which is also really handy. Santa Fe, you can see here. Right here. You've got a single drink holder here. Also nicely padded here. Very nice. It's grey stitching. Soft touch materials. Electric seats, I've already showed you that. Very nice. And I'll show you the rear seats, then I'll show you the engine bay. So obviously I showed you, seats do fold down flat. Just put this back up, Whoop, locks in place, so you have to re release the hatch here. And that will go back down. I have to press it a bit more. So, there you go. And I'll do the same for the other side, so I can show you what it looks like with the seats up. Wrong door. Press this toggle here. Again. Yeah. So here you go. That's the receipts. Show you. Jump in here. I didn't think I closed the, the door properly. There you go. There you go. Nice and closed. Here's the interior. I've moved the seat quite forward, so I'll just move this a bit back so you get you a bit of an idea. So you got two pouches here, which is very nice. You've got two vents. You have a the same thing fast charging port here. You have a, another fast charging port here, I believe. You got that same texture finish on the speakers. Infinity sound system by Harman. Soft touch materials here. A bit of hard plastics here, and you get some bit of finish of this nice vinyl. Got some storage here for your drinks. The center does fold down. Wait, does come down, sorry. And you can store two cups. You do not have a pass through, that's okay. Same as the front seats, you also have this really nice perforated leather. Same textured finish as the front seats as well. Which is very neat, nice. Got plenty of legroom in the center here. And the best part is being all-wheel drive. I believe it's all-wheel drive. I'll just double check that for you. Very flat low bay, which is fantastic. So you can easily keep your feet here and still have plenty of space. I will show you the dashboard from the rear seat. Must say um, special thanks to Hyundai here, who actually, uh, Hyundai Fenty Gallery allowed me to film this video, it's a great privilege. It does really mean the world to me. And I must say, Hyundai has really stepped up the game. I mean, this interior is amazing. So, I love it. It looks really, really, really nice. And it's a unique design, especially how the, it's like concaves in, and it's very unique. I mean, it's nice to have a refreshing change. I feel all interiors all look very similar these days. Very nice. Um, gorgeous headliner. I showed you that really urban sort of finish. Love it. 
Also, I noticed you have um side shades, so that's really cool. So it's really nice. So it's great to block out the sun. Australia, we have a really harsh sun, so it's really good for that during summer. And that comes down manually, and it feels really well made. And it, and it's hard to feel it's snug, snug here; it doesn't stick out. You wouldn't even notice it's there, which is really good. I think this one has the child lock on it, so I can't exactly. Oh, no wonder why the doors didn't lock open. The child locked one. So I had to open it from outside. That's why I was wondering. I couldn't open it then. It's alright. Show you earlier. Storage. And yeah. A bit hard to see. I don't want to open it. Oh, the door does open wider. Yeah. Seats. Speaker's really cool. I love that finish. Now I just want to show you the engine. That's everything that everyone wants to see. Is that engine bay. So just pop the hood and show you the engine. Oops. Show you the engine bay. Spring assisted, which is really handy. Uh, here's the engine. So diesel, as I mentioned, CRDI 16 volt engine. Obviously that's a cover, so not really much to see, but yeah. Coolant. All that. It's a very clean engine bay. Some cars have really messy engine bays. This is very clean looking. Battery. Shell Helix motor oils recommends pull out. Yeah, might step out back, get a lot of good look. Jinbei. Never seem to close this part properly. I'll just leave it there. I don't want to break anything. So, show you the fuel cap. Let's see. Diesel. Turbo diesel. Yeah. Let's well, my little walk around of the only here on the Santa Fe. I'll close that properly. A uh, special shout out to French Gully Hyundai for allowing me to film this video. Um, this car is for sale at French Gully Hyundai, so feel free. I'll leave the description details of the dealership in the description below. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, sorry for the mistakes during the video, and um, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.